welcome to tranquilly coding this is our third video in the first two video we learn what is app right and how to set up project in app right also in the android studio you are watching tranquilly coding and this is app right for android using kotlin series so today we are going to learn about how to set up mvvm structure and single tone structure with the app right code so in the documentation if we go to the docs and let's select Android. So in here, the first instructions uh, they say to set up a app right single tone. So the documentation says us to use a single instance of the client so that all over the application, whenever we use this client, it will be the single instance of the client. So there won't be multiple instance that will cause error if we do that so uh, there is several threads in the community forum as well uh, multiple people asking about this uh, single instance and multiple instance problem so that's why we are going to use a single instance for this app right whole project like whenever we are want to use any function of the app right we need to call this client app right client and this client should be called from a single instance uh, we cannot call it everywhere every time we need it so let's see some of the occurrence that we need the instances for example if we go with the simple account creation or login this kind of stuff so let's go to create account so create account needs the client so we create a variable for the client with the client using context and then this code so the account creation needs the client again if we want to create a session session means we are logging in the user so for example create email session that is to log the user with username and uh, sorry email and password so in here we also need the client as per the documentation we need to create a singleton instance of this client so that whenever we need to use this client we will use only single instance throughout the whole app so let's go back to the previous project last time we created this project to test how the user account can be created and to finally add the upright sdk to our android studio project right now this time we are going to learn how to create this single instance and then we will try to create a mvpm structure within our app so first let's create an Kotlin class that we'll use as a singleton class. Uh, we can call it app write client singleton that will do. And we will change it to an object. So now we will create a variable that is a verb and it will be client and the client will be app i dot app right client and by default we'll set it at as now let me just disable the copilot for now that will give us some peace right now so we will call a function that will be get client method sorry and this will return the client so now we need to create a synchronized method so that it won't be facing any problem with multiple places accessing this client so we'll be checking if client is null or not and after that if client is null we will call the client and initialize it so we pass the context and then the client has some parameters so first will be set endpoint and this will be our endpoint and then we will pass the set project yes so we have our endpoint and set project let's create a constant and that will save us some time whenever we further need this thing to be used constant we can just create a file or we can create a class and make it 
companion object i prefer the companion object than the files so let's get this to variables values whatever so first we need the endpoint and then we need the project id that will do so let's call the constant dot endpoint and constant dot project id okay so now if the client is null it will give us the client it will create the instance of the client but if it is not null then we will return the client so return client and we assert that it is not null in any cases so for example if the method is called for the first time the client will be null and then it will be initiated with the endpoint and the project id uh, for the second time when we call this function to get the client it will call this method and it will find that the client is not null so we already have the client and it will just return the client so this is our singleton this is good enough let's create the mvvm so we will move it into a package for better understanding so first let okay uh, we need to use coin i normally prefer coin over other dependency injections so as Android Studio suggested, this is the latest version. So let's not, not waste time. So first we will create a file for module that will be simple file. And we will create our repository that is upright repository or you can name it anything. And then we will create our view model upright view model and finally we will create our application class <coughs> let's package this activity goes there constant Goes there and let's make a package for single DOM. Okay, we're all set. So, first, let's create the repository. Nothing specific, just need to pass the context in the constructor. So, context context that will do <coughs> and inside the view model we just need to pass our repository so upright repository upright repository done and we will create a module that will allow us to use it as ambivalent structure so upright module and here we will use single of this upright repository and we will pass the android context here and in here we will use the view model and that will be upright view model and we will simply call get why why did i get so many brackets view model and inside <coughs> i call get required view model found upright view model 
what did i do oh, okay i didn't extend it as a view model view model so i'll say Okay, so let's start coin. First, we need to pass the context, and that will be this main application. And inside the modules, we will be passing list of modules. Here, we will pass only this module, and that is app right module. You can use simply just modules and pass this but it is actually a module and that can actually contain lots of list of modules so for example uh, this is for multiple arguments if you want to pass or for list so in future if you want to add like different another modules or any different modules you can just add a comma and add your another module just like that and it will work properly so this is our basic setup let's just add the application here so name main application done so previously we used the flat screen and set the client we don't need that anymore uh, now we need to add the client into the repository first so let's create a variable that will be a private variable and it will be our client so we need to client we need to get that from the single tone the client and context and we need a variable that can be accessed outside of this repository for example from the view model so we'll create a normal variable val and it will be client without the underscore and it is, it is a client and we will be using get and then client so right now we have the client so whenever we need this client we can call this client from there and we will be using this client mostly from this repository so we won't be needing it anywhere but if we need it we can inject the view model using the coin dependency injection so let's in the view model get this variable uh, we actually don't need that if we need it we will further set it let's just add this stuff creating a user account to our repository so <clears throat> in here we need to create a suspend function because in the last video we saw the account creation is a suspend method so let's call suspend one create account we're leaving it blank and we need the account so well account will be account then we'll be plusing the client over here I think I imported the wrong account yes it is this account I don't need the qualify I always like to import the proper one okay so then it will create the user and it will lock the user uh, let's create a function in the view model that will allow us to call this so fun create account and as this is a suspend function you cannot directly call it so we will call it from the model scope dot launch and right now from there okay yes I guess all set we can remove this one let's analyze what do we got so far so we create a repository where we are calling the singleton the singleton is giving us the single instance of this client variable client object and from there in the repository we are creating 
account using this create account method we are using the default hard coded username password email and this is a suspend function this repository will be called from the app right view model so the view model will call this repository and call this function inside the view model scope and we will be calling this view model from the activities with injecting by coin so let's do that first we need to call the variable so this is app right view model and this is app right view model by view model and we will be using this one we need to make sure this is from the coin yes it is from the coin so app right view model dot create account if we call this in the repository we have the log set and if we get the log then we have successfully set up our mvvm structure so let's just run this app and see what happens in the meantime i removed our previous example of user account creation so there is no user over here everything is same so the cattle is building and in the locket we have our first user so yes this is the email email verification if we look for the name we'll see it somewhere yes this is the name something happened to my eye i guess oh so done so yes finally we have created the mvvm structure with app right so what it does it removes the business logic that is to create account get account everything far from this activity so the activity is the view here and this is our model this is our view model so all of this separated if we need to change something you can just change it into the repository and everything will be as same as before so this is the best approach to go with app right using the single instance and also in this approach In the upcoming videos, we will learn how to create account and login with UI. So previously in one of our videos, I showed you how to design and code a simple login registration page. This is this video, you can check it. So we have this code ready. Uh, we have a simple login screen and register screen. So we will use this code and we will try to make a login and registration using this mvvm structure with upright so that's all for today i'll see you in the next video